Makeup, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm not wearing freaking pants. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Annalise, and if you didn't notice, I'm wearing myself literally on my shirt. Huh? <laughs> what? Conceited? No. Just excited because I officially hit 10,000 subscribers yesterday. I had made in honor of 10K subscribers and it's actually available now on my merch website, which is linked down below. This video is super exciting because I moved into this apartment probably four months ago. You know, I decorated it when I got here, but I've just been feeling lately like it just wasn't me. Everything was pretty much black, which I do love black. It is my like favorite color. But when you're living in somewhere that's all black, it just, not inviting, I don't know, you know? So I wanted to spruce it up a bit. It's so much better now and I feel so much happier in here. This entire studio apartment redecoration project, everything was bought at Target. I showed you guys when I got back from Target the first time what I got. Then I had to go back later that night and get some more things that I forgot and needed. Then I had to go back the next day. Guess what? I just got back again. <laughs> Four different Targets to get everything that I needed. There's still some things that I didn't get that I need, like I want to get a TV to put up there because that wall is really empty. So this is the current apartment situation as of now. It's so much better than it was before, so much more organized, so much more aesthetically pleasing. I have my freaking Christmas tree. It's adorable. And yeah, I'm super excited to give you guys a tour, but first I'm gonna show you what I got in my first two Target hauls. The last two Target hauls. I'll mention when we're doing the tour, like what I got. So yeah, let's just... Get into the haul. What's up, friends? Are you ready for the largest Target haul you've ever seen in your entire life? Possibly. Or at least the largest one you've ever seen from me. I got a lot of stuff, but here's the thing. This is stuff that I've been meaning to get literally since I moved into this apartment, but I've like talked myself out of it. Like, oh, I don't really need that. I don't really need that. But these are basic things that you should have, like a toilet cleaner, cleaning spray in general. So, I mean, you'll see. So let's just get started with this haul. First, I got toilet paper. And as you can see, I've already used one roll because my toilet got fixed this morning. And, um, I just pooped in it, so. Toilet paper! This dish soap, which my mom, my mom would be very proud of because this is her favorite dish soap for some reason. Then I got some cute little sponges, even though I found this and I was like, this would be way more helpful to like clean inside of cups. I had a toilet brush and I had toilet bowl cleaner, but my mom has these, this thing, and then in here, it's like a toilet. And then this even opens, what? In here are these little reusable scrubby things. So it's like way easier. You don't have to worry about like a dirty ass toilet brush. You know what I mean? She just looks like this. Let's go try her out actually. Also, I have this LED toilet light, which I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if you want one. It changes colors. It's really convenient in the middle of the night if you're not wanting to turn on lights and you're like stumbling to the bathroom and this thing just like lights up your life. Yes, we love a clean toilet bowl, ladies. Just plop it in there. Boom. So much trash everywhere. I'm so I got this also for the toilet. Man, I was just really like wanting to clean my toilet, I guess. I got these scrubbing bubbles wipes. I just honestly, I was like, is this gonna turn the water purple? Because that would be dope. You always need mouthwash. I think the last things that I got for my bathroom are kind of more in the decor realm because I wanted to redo my bathroom because it's very dark. Like my shower curtain's black, which like I enjoy, but also like I have blackout curtains already. I got this freaking expensive $50 ass shower curtain, white with little gold detailing on it. And since I love gold and pink together, I decided instead of having black towels and a gray towels, I got a pink towel and I got a pink bathrobe. By the way, I'm not wearing makeup today. So if you're like, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm swell, I'm just not wearing makeup. Two things of huggable hangers. Can we just, I just have a question. Why are these $10 for 10 hangers? I know they have like really cheap ones, but I got these nice velvet ones because of something that I'm gonna show you later. My mom would be very proud of me for this next purchase because um, I haven't had one. I didn't have one all throughout college. I was like, freaking who needs that? No one needs that. And the truth is you don't need that, but you look dumb if you don't have one. And it's a lacy little delicate bed skirt. Also, why was this $60? Can someone tell me why a bed skirt is $60? Yeah, I could get a skirt at Target for like $18.99. Did I get the right size? Hey, queen. Woo! Yes, queen. We got a queen. Does anyone even use alarm clocks anymore? It projects the time onto the ceiling, if you want, or it projects stars onto the ceiling. And then it has four built-in nature sounds and six alarm sounds. This is gonna be so cool at night. I can literally have stars in my room. I never have to go outside ever again. I can grow old and pale and crusty and still look at the stars an investment for my future. I got this. There are little LED lights that you can just put anywhere. This has a switch. Battery's not included. 
The reason I just got silent because I was like, do I take the batteries out of my vibrator in order to power my lights? Or do I go buy new batteries? I'm gonna have to buy new batteries. I've been wanting to get a full length mirror forever because I don't have one here. My mirror in my bathroom sucks. It may oh, hello there. So I got this over the door mirror, but the cool thing is, she opens and she is storage. So she needs to be cleaned, but she will be cleaned and mounted. Oh my gosh. The last thing that I got, which I realized, this was actually the only reason that I was like, I need to go to Target. <laughs> so typical. $500 later, I went there for this one thing. It's a garment rack with a shelf on the bottom. I'm gonna hang like my pretty things here, like the things that are aesthetically pleasing, you know? And so later I will be going to Home Goods or somewhere to look for something else to put here because the cacti, summer's over. I feel like they were like a summer thing, you know? I do love my cacti though, I will say. Okay, it's much later now. Set up like most of the things that I got. I put away most of the things that I got and showed you earlier. I also had to go back to Target and get some things that I needed because there were things that I didn't get that I needed. I didn't know that my shower curtain like didn't already have hooks on it, so I had to go buy hooks for that. Anyway, I'm gonna to show you what I got at the other Target now. I showed you guys the pink towel that I got earlier. I wanted to get another one because my hook holds two towels and it looks weird with just one. This for my little sponge and my brush and my soap. These shams for my pillows because I'm getting rid of all the leopard print shit because I hate it. I got these shower hooks. They're little diamondy things. I think they'll look cute with the theme of my bathroom. I got these command strips because I wanted to find, I don't even think I found a tapestry and that was like the main reason that I went there but they're, they have like no tapestries right now. Batteries because I need them for the alarm clock and I need them for the LED lights. For my bathtub, it's mineral soak. I got popcorn, but that's for me, you know what I'm saying? A thing for my uh, paper towel. I got a new pillow, white with little black X's on it. I thought it was really simple and cute, so. Everything else is food besides I got this loofah. I don't even actually use loofahs, but Keenan does, and he's always like, why don't you have loofahs? So I got him a fucking loofah. See you tomorrow. All right, are you ready for the big reveal? Dun, da, da, da. The lighting is shit because, um, well, I don't have any lights up here. Hence why I have thousands of lights. Like, the, those aren't even plugged in. We'll just do a little quick little tour. This is a small apartment. It's not gonna take long. Here I have my Himalayan salt lamp. Look up the benefits. These are my LED lights. So I just put the switch right here and mounted to the wall. And then I have one there. I have one over there. And then there's two in the hallway. Here I have my lovely alarm clock that projects stars onto the ceiling, which it's too light to see that, but you can see that. Phone uploading a video to my Patreon. <laughs> Here we have my bed, and these are the shams that you saw I bought. I already had the bedding, the Chanel bedding, and then I already had that pillow, that side pillow, and then the Chanel pillows. I already had those, but that is so much better. Wow, I'm a flop. Okay, the bed skirt. Literally should have, like, this should have been the first thing I invested in because you can just hide all your shit under there and no one knows because your bed's wearing a fucking skirt. You guys have seen my little futon. already had that blanket. These are two new pillows. Here's my little map, which I wanted to frame, but I didn't get a frame. I have pins on places that I've been, places that I want to go, blah, blah, blah. It's super cute. I honestly really like the vibe of it. Here we have the long-awaited clothing rack that I fucked up in building, but it's okay because because I taped it. I have some shoes on display here, some jackets, some of my faux furs. Let's talk about why my drawer is open real quick. So I built this damn shelf, which I don't think I ever showed you because I got this like in my third Target haul. I built it, it took me three freaking hours. It literally said it was an advanced thing to build and I did it, but the drawer will not fully push in and there's no reason for it because it's like, it's literally perfectly on the tracks. Like it fits perfectly. I did everything right. So I'm not sure why that's not pushing in. So until I can get someone to fix this, this drawer is just going to be open, which is so frustrating. Here's my little meditation station. I have, um, oh, this is my hemp tattoo balm, my essential oils, my sage, my incense, a few crystals that I had out, all of my, um, CBD pens and then my essential oil pens, some oracle cards, a little fairy, abundance chakra energy candle, and then a Christmas cookie candle because hello, it's officially Christmas time, just saying. And then this cute little tree skirt, which is way too big for this tiny little four foot tree, but hiding under here is a shit ton of quartz. Here's my desk, nothing new here, I don't think, except for the flowers from my, lo my lovely boyfriend. Coasters for when I drink coffee in the morning. Here I'm hanging for my purses that I use the most. And my little Fenty slides, cause uh, sometimes I wanna wear shoes in my kitchen. On into the bathroom slash closet. This is a new rug. I took my old shower curtain and put it on one side of my closet because my closet doors are really hard to open. So I figured this is a lot easier. Makeup, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm not wearing freaking pants. <laughs> 
Oh, look at her. I should keep, I just showed myself in the mirror um, and I'm not wearing pants, but this is my full length mirror. Just super convenient, literally keeping my ponytail in there. The bathroom, ignore the laundry basket. I don't like that it has to go there, but I switched out the black towels to cute light pink towel. Oh, she's zooming in. To cute light pink towels. I switched out the black bath mat to a cute light pink bath mat. My lovely shower curtain that's white and gold. And then I got these cute little diamondy hooks for it. Yes, welcome to my shower. Hello, there's all my products. Of course, the toilet. The toilet brush, some robes, and a shower cap. Please don't judge me for what you're about to see, but um, Yes, that is my microwave sitting on a chair. Let me explain. I had nowhere to put the chair because it used to be where my desk was as a desk. And also my microwave used to be on the floor. So this is kind of a step up. Also, how ratchet is that? But honestly, there's no room for a microwave in here. This is my little coffee station. Wow. Uh, these are my two refrigerators because uh, I have too many fridges instead of a fridge and this just I love this so much Honestly, I don't even use the microwave that much because I postmates slash Amazon Prime every meal So we could probably get rid of her. Okay, ignore my face I wasn't gonna show it in this video, but <laughs> that is all for my current apartment tour there It's still a work in progress and there's still more that I want to do to it I think I really needed to start decorating in order to make this place feel more like a home because it hasn't really felt like a home for the past few months since I moved in I'm a lot happier to be here now I was never home during the daytime before because I it was just so dark and just not fun to be at and it's literally like 3 p.m. and I came home to film this and I feel at home. So yes, it's important to make your house feel like a home or your apartment or wherever you're living. That is gonna be all for this video. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you wanna see more things like this. I don't know what that's supposed to mean because I only have one apartment, but it's been a day. You, If you're one of my Patreons, you know. I am uploading a video right now about it and I've been crying all day. So anyway, I'll shut up now and um, yeah, bye.